are having problems with carpenter bees at your house this year, well, first, you're not alone. Second, drilling holes into things like your deck, patio, or any other wood structure, and that's what they're doing. The Tennessee Department of Agriculture says more and more people across the state are reporting higher than average issues with carpenter bees this season, and the problem is a pretty big one here in East Tennessee. Six News reporter Haley Harmon is on your side now with how you can get rid of them before they cause any more damage. Not a real dangerous insect, but they can cause a lot of damage. We met up with arrow exterminators today at a Knoxville home they just finished treating for carpenter bees. It's something they've been doing a lot of as of late. That's because they've seen a 50% increase in carpenter bees calls this year over last year. You can still see the damage they left behind in this barn on the property. Holes left on just about every single bean. This is a pretty infest, pretty heavy infestation of carpenter bees. You see here, this is the fraz, which is is, is what we refer to it as. This is uh, the sawdust where they board the hose. Um, you start seeing this around your home, it's definitely a telltale sign that you've got some issues. Many of these holes created as quickly as overnight. Lane says they're not sure why there's been such a recent increase, and unfortunately, there is no real preventative measures homeowners can take. But with the recent increase, they're recommending all homeowners check for them. First thing to do is when you see this sawdust, if you see piles of sawdust like this laying around your home, you need to get in touch with a professional quickly and, and get something done about it. The sooner you can get rid of them, the less damage they can cause. If you've got a, bit, a heavy enough infestation, of course, it can weaken the wood because they're boring the inside of the wood out. Now, while they are seeing a bigger problem right now in carpenter bees, they say, thankfully, it is usually just a springtime issue. So the closer we get to summer, hopefully that problem will go down a little bit. But they say sometimes there'll be a resurgence of carpenter bees at the end of the summer. On your side in Knoxville, Haley Harmon, 6 News. Now, Arrow says carpenter bees prefer any type of unpainted, unstained wood, especially soft varieties like cypress pine or maybe cedar and while they've seen a big crease across the area they've also seen the biggest uptick in places like Sevierville, Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg because of all those cabins the wood many of them are made of is exactly what these bees like well time now to take a look at today's other top stories